Hey legends, it's LSD789 with another build video. This is going to be my invisible assassin with cooldown reduction on kill uh, builds. It's really good because uh, the enemies can't even see you. You just pop your smoke bomb and your sticky bomb. And each time uh, you become invisible, you can just instant kill all the enemies. So yeah, this one's really fun. Um, with it, I'm using a wind katana uh, that's effective against spearmen with melee resolve gain, only damage and burning and poison blades and yeah when you when you use this uh, katana you can just melee hit enemies and you have a chance of burning and poisoning them the only damage also really important for the big enemies you can just uh, yeah you do more damage to, to the big enemies and the melee resolve gain uh, each time you use your melee weapon you get uh, resolve and with that you can do your ultimate more quickly so yeah your katana is just there to boost your resolve and give you a bit of extra damage but i'm not uh, mainly using the katana we're just using assassinations but yeah that's the katana then i have a normal blowgun with stealth attack damage status effect duration hallucination darts and helmet piercing ammo um, yeah I, i'm just using a normal blow uh, blowgun for the stealth attack damage 25 percent we want to uh, stack as much stealth attack damage as possible because that is the assassination damage. Then we have a bit of status effect duration, which helps with the uh, burning and poison blades. Um, hallucination darts are really important, so you can make the enemies fight in ch uh, each other instead of you. And the helmet piercing ammo is also nice, so you can just uh, hit an enemy in the face, and even if he has a helmet, uh, it will penetrate it. So this one's really useful to just uh, cr create chaos and let the enemies fight each other. Then I'm using an assassin charm which um, an advanced charm that improves assassin class abilities. This one also comes with stealth attack damage. We have co uh, cooldown reduction on kill, two per seconds. We have chain va uh, vanish and hysteria. And the chain vanish, uh, successfully uh, assassinating an enemy while vanished, reactivates vanish and refresh the duration stacks with chain vanish. Uh, it stacks with chain vanish perk. So yeah, when you use the vanish and you assassinate an enemy, you revanish and you can assassinate another enemy. So yeah, we're just gonna be invisible the whole time. The hysteria is also really nice. Assassinations cause nearby enemies to hallucinate. So if you assassinate one enemy, all nearby enemies uh, will fight each other instead of you. Um, they will still fight you, but they also fight each other. Uh, yeah, the stealth attack damage and the cooldown reduction. Um, the the quicker we kill, um, the quicker we get our smoke bomb back and. Yeah, it's just really nice to stack as much cooldown reduction uh, that we, as we can. And the stealth attack damage is important again for the, yeah, just the assassination damage. So yeah, the assassin charm is really good. Then I have a magma bomb, uh, legendary, attached, attaches to an enemy and explodes, staggering an, uh, anyone caught in the blast and creates a small smoke cloud. So yeah, this one is uh, an upgraded version because the normal uh, sticky bomb just does an explosion and does damage to them but this one will uh, also put a smoke cloud uh, out so you can sit in the smoke and assassinate other enemies uh, this one comes with cooldown reduction on kill four seconds blast radius then uh, another increase in uh, increase in radius and we have lucky so if you use your sticky bomb you have a 50 percent chance to get your sticky bomb immediately back it's also really nice and it's really useful so yeah, and we have more cooldown reduction on kill um, there aren't really any other mods that are good for this. Yeah, you have a straight cooldown reduction, but the four seconds is way better. Um, so yeah, I think the blast radius is better because the sticky bomb has not has not a really a big radius, and um, yeah, we just want big radius so you can assassinate more enemies. Then for the ghost weapon too, I'm using the mist of Yagata, a smoke bomb that also heals allies in the smoke. So yeah, this is your main uh, reason uh, you can heal yourself with this. Uh, Mist of Yagata, uh, Smoke Bomb, oh yeah, that, uh, Stealth Attack Damage, Cooldown Reduction on Kill, Lucky again, which is really nice, and Munitions, you can also try, um, I wouldn't do Black Powder, because Black Powder will knock the enemies away from your cloud, so that's not good, but Southern Resolve is also nice, so you get uh, one uh, pip of uh, Resolve, but uh, Extra Munitions gives you Hallucination Darts, so I think you have a max stack of two Hallucination Darts, but with this you can just uh, pick up new uh, darts. That's why I like this. So those are all the weapons and the skills. I will show in the gameplay later how to use this. But yeah, let's go to the techniques. Shadow Strike. Yeah, it's really nice. Tree Resolve. 
you can just uh, you can teleport all over the map with this. Then refreshing vanish I use for another heal. And with the chain vanish you can revanish after an assassination and you can assassinate another one. And then once you assassinate all neighbor enemies will fight each other. Then on this one I have the legendary. Uh, so we have two ghost weapons. Then I have deft hands. Crit uh, strikes and assassinations reduce all ghost weapon cooldowns by three seconds. So yeah, we have more cooldown reduction with this. Uh, you, you get your skills back really quick. And once you get your skills back, you can uh, assassinate enemies again to get your skills back. It's like a, a never-ending loop. It's really nice. And I use the Shadow Storm for two extra strikes. So you can hit five times. Yeah, it's really nice. Parents. Yeah, I'm using this set. Just because I like it. And this is also not really important. But yeah, that's the build. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. I will put in some gameplay now. But yeah, LSD 789 out. The ghosts readied themselves as the Oni steps shook the ground. Ready? In Otsuna village, there were thousands of crows, so many. The demons, please, my boy. The ghosts arrived only to find Otsuna village had been visited by death and destruction.
Taking cargo. Ready? You have my gratitude. The others, they took them across the river. I heard the demon speak. An evil tongue. All I could understand was only Baba. Oni archers would lay in wait, eager to fire arrows upon the ghosts. them apart. Tengu, they flew down from the old monastery to the cave. And beware of the cave. The ghost traveled toward the mountains, hoping they could stop the Tengu and find the cave that had terrified the villagers. The monastery loomed over the trees in the distance. The ghosts pressed on, searching for the source of the tango.
Regnum Parsinta. I disappear. Into the shadows! Some of my scrolls, I thought I lost them. Tango defeated, the cave grew silent, and the ghosts found themselves before Kojiro. Slain, Io could no longer control the Tengu and was unable to rally the people to her cause. But the crows of Utsuna were only part of her plan. Time to disappear. Descended from above. Ghost showed no hesitation.
prepared for more battle. Enemies flooded in. Go 
Challenge came to the ghosts. Into the shadows! was far from over. Thank you.
enemy's numbers drop quickly. Enemy sent their strongest men to battle.
ghosts refused to let each other fall. Never miss. men were sent into battle. Thank you. The enemy will almost win the battle.
enemy had not finished their assault. last body fell. The ghosts enjoyed a moment of peace. The ghost had defeated powerful adversaries, but the path to victory is long and filled with enemies to 